From his balcony high atop the CompuWare building downtown, Peter Carmanis Jr. can almost see Pete's place, his dad's Detroit diner, where back in the 50s and 60s, Pete Jr. worked behind the counter. A few years after that picture was taken, he would start a company that would grow to this. A multi-billion dollar corporation employing at one point 14,000 people. He started CompuWare in Detroit suburbs, but in 2002, moved back into the city where he grew up. You were coming into Detroit at a time when so many people were leaving Detroit. Yeah, it didn't make any sense to me that so many people were leaving, mm -hmm. right? Because it was uh, easily the best location. Uh, we could build a, a world-class building uh, fairly inexpensively compared to what it would cost if we were in New York or Boston. Through the 80s and 90s, Carmanos watched his business boom. Then, almost as quickly after 2000, nearly go bust. The growth uh, overcame us, uh, and we couldn't support it. Uh, the same thing happened with the city of Detroit in, uh, right after World War II. It outgrew its ability uh, to sustain uh, the city uh, over that period of time. It just simply grew too fast, too many people uh, all at once, and uh, the, the uh, infrastructure couldn't handle it. This building was National Bank of Detroit's headquarters. Right. So what happened to Peter Carmanos is still happening to Detroit. But CompuWare is on a roll again. It's smaller, leaner, more efficient. And Carmanos believes its value could triple to $6 billion by the time he retires in two years. Oh, that's right. Peter Carmanos is retiring. I guess it's on the table now. You're looking at retiring in the next couple of years. Yes. Uh, it, it, you look forward to this, or is this something that... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, you I'm, seem like a guy who likes to work. Yeah, I like to work. I have plenty of other things to work on. 